uh, esophagus, we are in, the esophagus, uh, the uh, gastroesophageal junction, this is the fundus, body, and you can identify uh, the body fundus uh, and, uh, and trunk and pylorus. Uh, and you can identify the nice uh, mucosal folds, hmm? uh, increasing the size of the uh, stomach, even with chronic gastritis or chronic atrophic gastritis. There is this appearance, or there will be loss of these gastric folds. Peptic ulceration, what is ulcer in general? What is ulcer? Skin ulcer, colonic ulcer, rectal ulcer. What is ulcer? Yes? It is a loss of mucosal surface or breach in the mucosa. Discontinuity of the mucosal surface. It is usually related to, yes, uh, when there is excessive acid secretion or when there is imbalance of normal physiological defense mechanisms, it will be cut now. Bicarb, uh, prostaglandin, uh, uh, mucus, uh, adequate blood. Then, uh, most commonly, it is solitary. Solitary, and you solitary. Yeah, you multiple, yeah, single, chronic, and may occur in any part of the gastrointestinal tract, exposing to acid pepsin digestion. Hmm? I mean, peptic ulcer, hmm? peptic ulcer. Where is the sites of peptic ulcers? Hey. Most commonly in the first part of the duodenum. But in the stomach, uh, antropyloric region, tamam. But lower esophagus, lower third of the esophagus, as a complication of reflux disease, no? But any part in the gastrointestinal tract that contain gastric mucosa. The heterotopia, the mucal diverticulum containing ectopic gastric tissue, uh, so excessive gastric juice secretion results in acid digestion and vertical. So, when there is imbalance between the normal physiological defense mechanism that, or any mechanism that is, or any pathology that increases acid secretion, result in ulceration. Uh, you can identify a peptic ulcer shape. Shape is important. Endoscopy, endoscopic finding of peptic ulcer, uh, it is usually small in size. Small in size, regular shape, usually rounded or oval. Bowel feature, features. Rounded, oval or oval, small size, usually less than two centimeter necrosis of the base, or sorry, clean base, due to acid digestion, and uh, punched out margin. So we have punched out margin, middle of the two it comes punched out. Punched out, yani shinu, yani mitl zarof, or mitl al-abba mat al-tufraha. There is no leaping up of the margin, no elevated margin. And had a direction, so to show the direction of the mucosal falls toward the center of the ulcer, is called puckering of the mucosa when the mucosa will be uh, stretched or will, when will be uh, any pulled out to the center of the ulcer due to underlying fibrosis. Hadi maktubat from bil ahmar hadi causes uh, of uh, increased acid secretion and H. pylori infection. Hmm? What is the mechanism that the carnaha sabukan or the carnaha will H. pylori? What is the mechanism shown in H. pylori producing gastric hyperacidity? will induce rebound acid secretion, rebound, on a cycle, producing urea. Urea will split 
uh, urease, U urease will split urea into ammonia. This ammonia will neutralize the gastric acid secretion hmm? when there is diminished gastric secretion or uh, hypochlorhydra within the wall. This will induce, you know, gastrin secretion and more acid secretion within the within the any gastric lumen. Parietal cell hyperplasia. Hmm? I went parietal cell hyperplasia. Yeah, so. hey, I should send me a parietal cell. I acid producing, more acid secreting mucosa honey in Zollinger Edison syndrome. Excessive secretory response when Excessive acid secretion. واحد عنده امتحان، واحد عنده stress مو excessive يعني excessive أو يعني إذا increase intracranial pressure أو increase in vagal nerve stimulation. ممكن ال parietal cells شنو containing containing acetylcholine receptor, containing gastrin receptor and histamine receptor. So in stress, there is, is overstimulation or there is over secretion of acetylcholine and more bonding to acetylcholine receptor on the parietal cells. Impaired inhibition of stimulatory hormone. Impaired inhibition. Hmm? Hmm? Yes, associated with vagal nerve stimulation, excessive gastrin secretion. Who centrally con, yani centrally, yani regulated, vagal nerve centrally regulated. Yes, cushion also. Yes. Yes, when there is increase any intracranial uh, mass or pressure, increase intracranial pressure or in case of... Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, 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 Vagal nerve stimulation is is regulated centrally, and vagal nerve excessive secretion and stimulation is centrally of the to the chest and back. Uh, the symptoms in uh, epigastric pain, nausea, vomiting, uh, hematemesis, and melina, which are signs of upper GIT bleeding. Uh, the pathogenesis, how did you pathogenesis? Colonization of the bacteria H. pylori into the mucosa will result in this bacteria will secrete the proteolytic enzyme or uh, hydrolytic enzymes, including protease, lipase, urease. Urease will split ammonia into urea. This will neutralize gastric acidity and result in rebound acid secretion uh, are responsible to hypogastrinemia. Uh, proteas will digest the extracellular matrix or material, uh, mucus and glycoprotein breakdown, so causing cellular breakdown and extracellular matrix breakdown.
and weak result in weak mucosa resistance and easy acid digestion of the mucosa. The uh, ulcer can be reached deeper into the muscle and can even rupture and perforate through the wall. Typically, this is a typical endoscopic finding of peptic ulcer disease. It is small size. Small size, added in less than two centimeters. Solitary means single, not multiple. Punched out margins are well defined, regular, without heaping up of margin. With bleeding at the base and erosion, you can identify here erosion of the submucosal center, erosion or bleeding due to exposure or and erosion of the submucosal veins. The margin is well demarcated. Kulish halwa, rounded, uh, smooth, mutamam, regular, alta rounded or oval. Now, bad masaya puckering of the mucosa will earlier stage. Compare it to this ugly looking malignant gastric ulcer. This is an ulcer here, ill defined margin. Bad margin should be here, ill defined, irregular. With heaping up, I could show him a feature, heaping up. Heaping up, yani shouldering of the margins, elevated margins. Then, and uh, puckering of the mucosa or direction of mucosa falls toward the center. Uh, H. pylori gastritis is responsible in a worldwide infection, worldwide widely spread infection and responsible for up to 70 to 100 of peptic ulcer disease. Most of gastric pathology are related to H. pylori infection, including peptic ulcer disease, chronic gastritis, well, H. pylori associated, with autoimmune, well, gastric carcinoma, gastric lymphoma, and also reflexes vaginitis. نفس الكلام اللي هو شكلها شباب اللي هي جرام نيجاتيف سبايرال او كوما شيبت او كوكو باستن لاين سنجل او سراوندد شاربلي ديماركيتد سموث بيس باكرينج اند ذا فور زونز اوف او لايرز سيرفيس نيكروسيس انفلاميشن جرانيوليشن تيشو اند اندر لاين فايبروسيس نعم Peptic ulcer. Well defined, bow high picture gedamkum, oval shape, small size, well defined, clean base, punched out margins, puckering of the mucosa. Microscopical finding here, there is the here, there is the muco here, here, here is the mucosa and here is the loss of the mucosa. This is the ulcer. Necrosis, inflammation, granulation tissue, and fibrosis. Discontinuity of mucosal surface is identified in the center. Uh, or breach within the mucosal surface. Peptic ulcer disease, again, uh, erosion here of the blood vessels lead to bleeding. And here there is the, the loss, necrosis, fibroid inflammation, granulation tissue, and fibrosis. Peptic ulcer disease, identification of H. pylori uh, bacteria. The complication is include, and including fibrosis, structure formation, pyloric stenosis, perforation, gastric carcinoma, but not duodenal carcinoma. Then, they have the duodenal ulcer. There is no need for sampling. There is no need for biopsy. So in endoscopy, may have a sample of the duodenal ulcer, whereas biopsy is mandatory, is essential in any gastric ulcer, because carcinoma can be presented as gastric ulcer. Again, 
again, this is another picture. Show why she must have it come here. Here, meaning that she's rounded or well-defined border and puckering and direction of mucosal folds toward the center. Hyperemia surrounding the necrotic base. And this is a chronic ulcer of the stomach. Here, I had a show earlier uh, erosion or ulceration, small size, about one centimeter, punched out margin, no elevation of border surrounding hyperemia necrotic base. This is a perforating or penetrating, but they in the posterior wall. Uh, endoscopic finding, uh, yellowish secretion is related to necrotic material, the ulcer base, and you can compare these pictures with this one. This is an ugly looking malignant ulcer. It is of large size, about four centimeter, irregular bleeding at the base and the crosses, uh, shouldering or elevated margins, and typical location is in the anthropyloric region. Air under the diaphragm, mana hashinohadi, perforated peptic ulcer. I'm going to go to the next 